Hello all, welcome to Autobot YouTube channel. Myself Rahul Yakshan. Today we are going to learn how you can invoke a .xml or a UiPath project using robot entity. Okay. So uh, we can do this in multiple uh, multiple methods, right? Uh, like uh, either invoking the process using the orchestrator, or we can invoke it from the studio. Or the other method is we can directly invoke it by passing the file to the robot entity. Okay, so in the UEFI community as well as personal DMs, I'm getting a lot of uh, requests like how we can invoke the .xml uh, by directly using the robot instead of going with the orchestrator. Right? Sometimes there is a situation where uh, we won't be having the orchestrator license and we need to schedule it uh, in our machine. Right? So in those kind of situation, what we can do is we can create a batcher uh, by passing the robot. Uh, path as well as by, by passing the dot uh, xml path and we can uh, uh, schedule that particular batch of in the windows schedule right instead of using the orchestrator schedule we can use the windows schedule for scheduling the task so uh, let us uh, continue by creating a very simple project so let me create a project auto uh, board demo one so what i'm going to do is let me drag and drop a message box Okay, so let me put some command like demo project to invoke project using robot. Okay, so that's it. Okay, so we have created our main production and uh, we have added a message box with uh, the test contact demo project to invoke project using robot. So we need to execute this project using robot entity. Right? So for that, first we need to find out the location of a UI robot exe. For that, let me go to start, search for UI path. Okay, so uh, this uh, follow this uh, same step. So this is easy method of finding the UI robot of exe. Right click, open file location. Okay, you can right click on this shortcut uh, path, open file location, scroll down to the bottom. You will be able to find UI robot.exe. Okay, so this is the path. Let me go to Notepad. And what I am going to do is we need to copy the path of robot.exe. Right. So copy this path. Okay. Slash UI robot.exe space hyphen five space the path of our main dot xml file right slash main dot xml file let me save it in desktop so this should be a dot bat file dot bat and let me name it like a demo robot okay save it let me go back try to execute there is some error so what i am going to do is let me add a post command so it will help to uh, hold our uh, console let me execute again okay. you can run you can only run dotnet 6 dotnet package file or publish process from your robot command line ok so there is some update happen for the execution of files using uh, uh, robot entity so what i am going to do is let me go to studio click on publish Click on next. Okay, then here we need to publish to our local, right? Click on custom. Then let me go to folder. I'm going to create a new folder. Let me name it like a test folder. Select that folder. What is there? Okay, or let me do one thing. Let me create a new folder. Test robot. Okay, select that folder. Click on publish. That's it. So once you publish the project, you will get a dot another package. So we can pass that another package to our robot entity. So let me go to this folder, copy this path. Instead of main.xml, just provide the path of a package 
this copy this name okay so that's it now we are ready to go now try to execute demo robot dot that okay we can see our robot has started with execution and we got the message box right demo project to invoke for the user robot so this is how uh, how you can invoke uh, our project your path project using robot entity directly okay if you don't want to go with orchestrator for scheduling what you can do is you can create the backdrop and you can use the robot entity for uh, uh, calling the another package and you can schedule this backdrop in the windows scheduler okay so i hope you find this interesting and useful uh, if you find this useful uh, please share with your friends please like the video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel thanks for watching the video bye